Hello, it is me, Epic Gaming, 1195, and today, I haven't said that in a while. My last vlog was made when I sounded like this. Hello, it is me. So I already did most of the process of installing macOS on this thing before I realized that you actually need the Wi-Fi card because you need an internet connection to install it. This is already an installer. I already changed the BIOS stuff, but now I have this. And I looked on iFixit, there's no guide for replacing Wi-Fi cards in a Razor Blade 15. So hopefully it's not too hard. And I'm in. I don't mind this. It's a long story. That was easy. That's the Wi-Fi card, or at least I think it is. Here's my wire that I don't think I need. And here is the thing itself. That took a lot longer than it should have. There we go. This is an Intel Model 9560 NGW. Flashbacks to Joy-Con shell swapping. Goodbye, Intel. And hello. This one that doesn't have a brand. Okay, what, J0 and J1. This says one and two. Why are they different? I have to review the footage. Okay, I probably shouldn't be assuming anything, but I'm assuming one is zero and two is one. And I probably shouldn't be using my bare hands. Too late for that. And this does come with a screw, but I'm probably just gonna use this one. Because a razor screw is probably higher quality than a brand that doesn't even care to put their name on the product. It's probably in there. Okay, time to do the fun part. Installing the operating system. That was the wrong button. But I can do this. Why is it not found? Well, that was different, but it still let me in. This is what happened before, so that's a good sign. Okay, this is also the same. My mouse works. I mean, Sonic was. Wait, there's a Wi Fi thing up here. There's a Wi Fi! There's a Wi Fi! Look away, you can't see my password. We are in. Hopefully, nothing else goes wrong. Well, it doesn't say you need an internet connection to install because I have one, but it is taking a long time to load.
What do you mean the recovery server cannot be contacted? My Wi-Fi isn't that bad, I promise. Why is it taking so long? can't be downloaded at this time. It had a different error, but it still had an error about downloading, so I'll try restarting. Well, that has a zero here, like last time. Every time I did it before, that was there and it had a zero. The first time it was up here for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, but why is the loading symbol, loading line blue? Why is the loading line blue and then turns gray? Apple moment. Why? Okay, I restarted without changing a single thing. I thought the date and time was wrong, so I tried to look up how to do that, but I couldn't change it through the terminal. I tried pinging google.com and it didn't work. And I tried pinging apple.com and archlinux.org. Nothing worked. Then I just restarted and then I connected the Wi-Fi and pinged google.com and it pinged. And now I'm here. Agreed. I totally read the whole thing. Mac OS, literally all these ones are grayed out. It's that one. Install. Oh. Well, good thing I have that right there. 23 minutes remaining. See you then. Okay, it just restarted itself. And then I quickly scrambled over to the F12 button to get it back in the bootloader and it had an option called macOS installer and that was not there before so I'm assuming that means that it's working it's alive okay uh, I guess I'll see you in another 12 minutes it's probably been like 10 minutes and this bar has not moved at all. Yeah, that might be a problem. Since it's been more than 12 minutes and this hasn't moved a single pixel, I'm gonna have to do something that I really don't wanna do. Force shut down during the installation. When I was researching about this, I read that if you are installing to the original NVMe SSD that came in this, it wouldn't work or it would freeze the installer. I'm not installing to that one, but I do have it in there. So I'm going to try to remove it and see if that fixes my problem. Good thing I only put back in four screws. doing this but I don't have a choice also maybe this SSD is incompatible but in that case I'm out of luck voiding the warranty again I still don't have warranty never had it to begin with don't mind the thunderstorm outside maybe that's because I'm doing cursed acts it's triggering the thunder also, don't mind my cat. She wants to come in here, but I don't want her to ruin my laptop. Yeah, that totally sounded great and normal. That's how a laptop should sound when you put the cover back on. Okay, the only boot devices now are Arch ISO, which is actually macOS, and the one that I've just installed at macOS 2. Look, I can only boot a SanDisk. 
because my Linux grub is just gone and because Mac OS decided to delete it. It still boots. Brightness changed. The mouse is there, now the mouse is gone. <laughs> the bar is barring. Is it gonna say about 12 minutes remaining or is it gonna say less minutes? Now that this is removed, this maybe cursed SSD. Actually, I know this is cursed. Hopefully the one that's still in there isn't cursed. There's my 12 minutes of rain encounter. Hopefully it actually changes. Yes! I mean, yeah, it, it changed. I totally didn't overreact to that. <laughs> Why? Uh, how does this affect that? I don't understand Hackintosh. This is my first time Hackintoshing something. Is that even a word? No. Why does the default SSD break macOS? Top 10 questions scientists still can't answer. See you in 10 minutes. Okay, there's only a minute remaining and there's a literal rainstorm happening outside. I think I am doing some sort of cursed ritual because I've summoned a storm. It never storms here. Less than a minute. I was doing things. Did it restart again? Literally, why it restarts with time? <coughs> Mac OS is a boot option. Oh, the brightness changed. That means it's almost done. Yay, great. I've never used a Mac, I don't know if that works. Yeah, welcome. We're in the installer. It's done. I've successfully made a Hackintosh. United States. I speak English only. Uh, look away. Data privacy. Can I turn off them stealing my data? Look away again. Oh wait. Set up later. Actually, I'll do it. Look away. Okay, uh, it has like a suspicious suit looking thing, and it says iCloud could not be set up, so I guess I'm not using iCloud. Well, I didn't want to anyway. Terms and conditions, totally read all of them. Yep, totally did that. Uh, full name, just my first name, name reveal. Uh, I can't select all unless it's like FN or something password look away another one express setup uh no uh that's the right time zone already do not share literally do not share anything about this i don't want apple to know i'm using a mac on a razor uh i don't care about screen time i literally use screens way too much uh, light. Half my viewers probably just left. <laughs> I promise I use dark mode and everything else. Please don't leave. Please don't unsubscribe. Please don't dislike. I can hear you typing in the comments. Yes! I'm in macOS! On a razor! If it didn't delete my grub, I would have Windows, Mac, and Linux on the same laptop, which is kind of cool. Press the key immediately to the right of shift. It is Z. And that is up. It can't identify. Updates available? Uh, no. Because that'll probably break things. Okay, so I have boot, which is just this. As the guy in the tutorial I watched did, let's see that beautiful animation. Yes. Look at that. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching me install macOS on my laptop, even though I already did most of it before the video was filmed. I hope you enjoyed seeing me fail at doing things that you've probably already done because YouTube probably only recommended this to people who have done this. Maybe not. YouTube algorithm is weird. One thing I'm worried about 
is what if I put this back in and then it makes it not boot anymore? I don't think that's the case because I just heard that it's for the installation. But also, I don't really want to have to plug this in every time I boot into macOS, but I think I'll have to. Also, it's not 1 a.m. Is it? It is 1 a.m. Cut that out. A lot has happened since I filmed that last part. I realized macOS Catalina is too old to like run anything nowadays. So I researched how to get macOS Sequoia on here and I did everything from scratch. Not like that tutorial that included the EFI folder, which I will include my new one for Sequoia. So anyone can do this. I managed to install Sequoia with everything working. <laughs> one final password entry. So I now have Sequoia on here. I have things installed because like I wanted to use this to make music because the reason I even installed macOS is because MIDI controllers would not work on Windows for no reason. I have Wi-Fi working using a thing called Heliport. And I even got Bluetooth working, which I didn't even know was possible because last time I tried it, it didn't work. And the funny thing is I switched back to the original Intel Wi-Fi card. I'm not even using the one I bought anymore. So that was, I mean, it wasn't completely useless because I needed a Mac to make the installer for Sequoia. So I had to do that anyway to make the installer to even do this. But now I don't need that Wi-Fi card anymore. And now I have basically a current Mac made out of a 2019 laptop. So that's cool.